the first thing to think about is when we say bringing broadband to the rural developing areas, what does that mean? In the US or in Europe, we think of broadband as additional to what we have. We all have telephones, we all have mobile phones, we all have many, many ways of communicating. In the areas we're going to, and we've built some of these areas now in, in Zambia and in India, you're going into areas where there's no electronic communications at all, no telephone. Uh, in India, there were only 30 million landlines before cell phones came along, in a country of a billion people. So when you're bringing broadband, you're not just bringing broadband, you're bringing the first electronic communication of any kind. So think about, we're going back to before Alexander Graham Bell for these people. That's where the world they're in now. Think about how much the telephone helped you in, if your child was sick, you could pick up the phone and call a doctor or call a family member and ask what's wrong. You can keep in touch with family. You can job hunt better. You can have better economic access to economic information. They don't have that today. And what we're doing is we're leapfrogging them from pre-Alexander Graham Bell to social media all at once. So by bringing broadband, you're accruing all of those benefits. I mean, I don't think anyone would argue that the telephone helped economy, helped healthcare, helped personal social networking, keeping the family unit together. So we're bringing that along with all the benefits of broadband all at once. And it, it's, it's a huge transformation for people.